Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a New Year's video. So this is my first video of the New Year. So Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, I'm going to try to stay a little more consistent this year. I keep saying that over and over again, just really busy with work and things like that. However, I did want to say last year, my portfolio did turn 63%. Um, unrealized, obviously, as I'm a long-term investor. So very good year. So I've been doing the stock market now for six years. So I had a positive year in 18, positive year in 19, positive year in 20. 2021, I thought I would never get a better year than that in my life. And then 2022, I lost the market by five, 6%. So, and then 2023, I had really the best year in the market of my life. So I am five for six as far as years as a long-term investor. So feel very good about this year. I think there's a lot of opportunity for volatility and people scared about the election and all the wars going on right now and everything. So I feel like there's uh, the consumer sentiments buried and as a long-term optimist person, uh, I feel like there's a ton of room for uh, opportunity in this market. So I will make a video on things I plan on buying this month. I did actually buy uh, Nike, PayPal, and uh, a little bit of Enphase I actually was buying uh, last week. So just building my positions out. Nike is, I've had that stock since 2019 or 2018, a smaller position. I took a break from buying it, but now that it is below my cost base, um, adding to it again, it's a dividend play, uh, great company. I mean, I, I really think people are sleeping on like Nike's revenue. People think we're going into the, the consumer slowing down. Nike lowered guidance. Uh, however, we just had a, a Abercrombie, American Eagle, and a, a Lulu, I believe. Uh, some of the retail people, they, uh, some of the CEOs just came out and said, oh, well, retail sales are a lot stronger for Q4 and in December. We thought they were done after Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Essentially, that's what they said. So clearly that is wrong. And now the market is rebalancing and, and saying, oh, maybe maybe the consumer still has some more money. We don't know where it's coming from. You know, the sentiments are low. Credit card debt is at all time highs. But you can't get caught up on the headline stuff. That doesn't you got to You got to really dive into things to understand how things work and not just look at headlines and freak you out and then sell. So anyways. I feel like Nike's one of those plays. It just got a downgrade. You, you know, they're they're lowering guidance. I think they're just setting the expectation to have really easy comps this year. We have the Olympics coming, which is a global thing. People buy Nike for every kind of sport in the Olympics. So I just feel real good about it. And I want to, you know, add up in that. Uh, PayPal, that is my third or fourth largest position. I've had that one since 2018 also. Uh, I was actually buying that way back in the day. Uh, right when COVID hit and all and and all the money printing, I was actually buying it at um, I think I started my position at like something crazy, like two twenty. So now it's sitting at sixty dollars a share. So it's real funny. So I've actually tripled down in my position to drive my cost base down to sub eighty five, I believe. So it is a massive position in my portfolio. It's my third largest account, but this is an account or. Uh, a stock I've had forever. Like I've had it for four or five years. Super bullish on it. My price projections have it going to um, probably like 100, 125, probably the end of 24. That's where my evaluation is on it. And then end of 20, or excuse me, end of 24, end of 25, I have it around like 175. So if I'm right there, that's, that's a triple digit percentage return for where my cost base is now, even holding it in five years. So that's awesome. So yeah. So I'll, you know, I'll make videos, uh, hopefully more about when I buy things and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a long-term value investor. So that's kind of my style, but yeah, I feel real good about 24. Uh, I did not take any profits last year. I, I, I still think this is the beginning of a new cycle. I know there's a lot of analysts out there that think this is the start of the beginning of the end cycle. So there's a lot of discrepancy in the market right now. Some people think, oh, we're hitting a reset and other people think, oh, the reset was hit in 22 and now we're going for another decade run, which that's what I, you know, that's what camp I'm in, but we'll see. So trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of this year. Uh, so that should be super easy being the fact that I need 50 more subs. So if you like this video or you want a long-term investor's opinion, you know, hit the subscribe button, give me some comments on what your guys' favorite stocks are this year. I'd love to like read them and, 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 and see if I agree or disagree. I usually reply to every comment if it's within reason and not something outrageous or ridiculous that has no relevancy to the video. So that's all I got till tomorrow. Peace.